Hey, what's going on guys? My name is CarQ and we all know Bastion is a very popular hero, right? So today we have a Bastion main giving us some tips on Bastion. Please welcome Bastion main. Hey, what's up? My name is Bastion main. I'm a top 500 Bastion one trick and I'm here to educate fellow throwers how to hold a lobby hostage. So let's start off with a general tip. Don't rely on a team to protect you 100% of the time. Even with a full pocket, it's really difficult for your teammates to live if you're taking all the resources. Be very careful of your positioning. Slight differences in positioning make you either silver or grandmaster. Everybody on enemy team is going to want to kill you, so you need to make sure you are safe. Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Never initiate a fight with ult against D.Va. Use her ult when she's either out of mech or if you see her use her defense matrix. Try to predict when D.Va will use defense matrix, and in that time, squeeze in a bit of self healing. Against Arissa, all you need to do is break her shield. You don't really need to do any specific hero damage to her to be effective because just by breaking the shield, you increase space for your team and force her to reposition. Be extra cautious for Bongo because that damage boost can explode you before you can get up. Be sure to ult track it. Keep as much distance between you and Reinhardt as possible. Ryan is only effective up close, so the more he has to walk to you, the more time you have to spam him out and force him back. Additionally, you can rocket jump above Earth Shatter. Against Roadhog, play with your tank's shields and get ready to move if shields are getting low. If they have the cracked visual effect, you have to get up. Because Hogs will do this thing where they will shoot and preemptively hook. So then the second the shield breaks, it's already hooking someone behind that shield. So don't be a idiot and get up. If hook is unavoidable, use your ult right before getting hooked. It will change your hitbox and now your ironclad passive is active. If you decide to whole hog you after you get hooked, just hold down the heal and pray you live. Against Sigma, shoot his kinetic grasp if you have lots of CC on your team. When Sigma is eating, he'll feel confident in walking forward as long as you keep shooting him. Give your team a great opportunity to hook, stun, shatter him. If you don't have many CC cooldowns up though, don't shoot him and just aim around him and focus the shields if there are up. If you're caught in flux, tear it up because you can't move anyway and you will take less damage because of your ironclad passive. I guess in Winston, just stay far back in a spot where the enemy DPS do not have sight lines on you or break bubbles if you see it. If he primals you in sentry, he's an idiot. If you stand up, you're the idiot. Bastion is perfect for killing ball because you got tons of damage, can't get boofed, and anything that's in Bastion's LOS is a ball hater zone. So squat nearby the people on your team that hate ball, like your Zen, your Anna, your Bap, and make sure that ball swaps heroes. With the new minefield update, you want to try your best to stay away from walls and roofs, as to not let mine stack up and one shot you. Zarya doesn't really do anything to you. Zarya will typically just walk up with their personal bubble to get some energy early on. So just pop that shit and punish your positioning. Don't worry about her high energy or whatever. You're playing f***ing Bastion, that shit don't matter. Ash herself really isn't a threat unless she has a mercy pocket. Bob, however, is a threat and a major priority. Try to position yourself with an angle where you will kill Bob without getting shot by the enemy team. In the Bastion versus Bastion matchup, just break the enemy shield. You don't actually have to peek the line of sight of the Bastion. All you have to do is just peek the enemy shields, break those shields, and then let your team shoot the Bastion. This cycle will force them to reposition and slowly push them into a worse and worse spot. Bastion kind of hard counters Doom. He cannot uppercut you and his kill combos do not work on you. Figure out what type of playstyle the enemy Doom is playing. And if he's killing your backline, set up in spots where you can peel for your backline. And if he's playing for your tanks, play frontline. When Doom ults, be sure to turn up or ult to survive his meteor strike. Then just use heals until he runs out of abilities. Then you can kill him. For Echo, just cry. She spams you out, breaks shields, one shots you. Literally nothing you can do. The best thing to do against Echo is try to match her ult with your own to kill her copy. And then while she's transforming back, she stands still for a second, and that's when you can hit her with one last shot before she can move freely. Against Genji, try to bait Deflect by giving him some pot shots and scaring him. You can also try this thing where you preemptively ult right before the Genji ults. He'll usually dash up first, and that's when he's moving in a predictable path, and you get one shot, one opportunity to cancel his whole blade before it goes off. Hanzo is a strong pick into Bastion because he basically one shots you if he has storm arrows up and you're not behind cover or shields. Play in closed areas with low roofs and long corridors to minimize the angles he can shoot you from. Remember, Hanzo's Dragon Strike deals 300 damage per second on the inside and 150 DPS on the outside. That means you can actually tank the outside portion of it by sitting in turret and self-healing so then you can farm your ultimates. For Junkrat, 
Do not make your team pocket and use all the resources on you. Play on a high ground and far back so you cannot get spammed. Breaking LOS doesn't work because all Junkrat players have PhDs in Geometry and will just bounce nades against walls. I guess McCree, you can still 1v1 him, be sure you're making it a long range fight. However, with his HP being 225, you have a small chance of losing when it's close to range. Fashion hard counters may. Melt the wall to help your teammates and try your best to focus her over everyone else. If you are ulting and she walls you off, you can rocket jump right over it. When getting frozen in a turret, look straight up to hide your crit box and make it awkward for the enemy may to headshot you. Against Farah, you have to study how the enemy is playing her. Where does she like to hold? Wherever she's trying to hold, try to find a new pass to avoid her spam. And then, poke her out and make some space for your team. Be sure to be looking up when she has barrage and be careful with the fling. Solar barrages happen way more often than you think. You have to ult track her. Also, don't be afraid to use her ult on this player. She is surprisingly easy to snipe and give her a little taste of her own medicine. Fashion when you're so good. I know, I know, I know. Against Reaper, it's a bit of a skill matchup. You can win it 100% of the time if you track him perfectly. But he can win if he has good movement and is sneaky with Wraith form. Also, just stay turret up for his blossom and shoot him. Even if he gets resources like Lamp and Bubble, burst through it and kill him. If you're already low to begin with, then you might have to sit there and just self heal. Against Soldier, he doesn't really do anything to you, but you don't really do anything to him. Something I like to do for fun is predict where the Soldier is going to head and hide in a spot where I can kill him. Nothing really else to say here. Against Sombra, you need to set up with your back against a wall or corner so that she cannot hack you from behind and you'll always be able to see her unstealth. Be sure to save ult for EMP to survive and just be the GOAT. Against Symmetra, ask your team to save damage boost modifiers like Nano, Super Tire, or Amp Matrix for the Sim Wall because you'll actually be able to destroy it. To counter her in general, set up where you can shoot down where you think the teleport is going to be and destroy it before the enemy team can go through it. Torb is actually one of the Bastion's hardest counters because he can poke you out with no damage fall off and his cummies force you to move. <laughs> Best thing for you to do is be in spots that are hard to spam out and focus on the tanks instead. Tracer is another hard counter to Bastion because she's very slippery with a small head of box and can kill you with Pulse Bomb. Best thing to do is to play out in the open so she has to use more blinks to engage and close the gap, thus making the actual duel easier. If a Widow is playing at super long range, you don't really do anything to her, but she doesn't really do anything to you. If someone on your team can handle her better, like Wrecking Ball, bait her into shooting you on purpose. You can easily tank the shots, and the shots reveal her position, which then can be capitalized by your team. Anna is your hardest counter in the game. What Anna's tend to do is quickly peek once to confirm your location, and then peek again for a sleep. If you see that quick jiggle peek, get up and run. Her nade can also destroy your sentry setup, so use the map's geometry and natural cover to avoid nade angles. It wouldn't be a Bastion main tip video without at least one flank tip. Get in sentry form and wait for Baptiste to jump up with his exo boots, so that if he reacts to your damage, Lamp doesn't activate fast enough for him to survive. If he also has window, get ready to move, move, move. That shit will burn your HP like a bonfire. Bastion is a great pick against Brig. Your ult can one shot her because a shot does 205 damage and a Brig has 200 HP, minus five damage reduction from armor. Brig really cannot close the distance on you, so you do not need to worry about this pick. Just f*** up the enemy tanks and Brig will be a burden for those tanks. Lucio is good against you if the enemy team is coordinated because speed boost and fast engagement are your weakness. If Lucio has ult, preemptively change your position so that it's more passive and further back so you're harder to rush. Outside of Lucio in team play, the 1v1 matchup isn't much of a threat since he can't get booped in sentry. And he's not hard to aim at, just be careful of him trying to boop your teammates off high ground. That's your job if no one else on your team can mark him. Just like Farah, Mercy's shit up with ult. It's easier than it sounds, I promise you your teammates will be very impressed. Against Moira, she's not a threat at all since you have too much armor and your ironclad passive. Save your ult for her ult, as you can easily land shots that she can't fade away from and you can easily kill it. Against Zen, you have to be very careful of Discord Orb and his 5 orb volley. That shit will f*** you up. Hide in the corner and wait for Discord to disappear if you're marked. Outside of that, you can still one-shot all 200 HP heroes with your ultimate through Transcendence. That's it, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for having me. Check me out at twitch.tv forward slash Bashaman and on YouTube, Bashaman.